FSI Swedish Guide to Swedish Pronunciation, Tape 2 Swedish Consonants Swedish consonants are fairly similar to English ones, with a few exceptions which we will deal with in this section. In Swedish, a consonant following a long vowel tends to be short. A consonant following a short vowel tends to be long. Listen to these examples. In English, we say mama. The Swedes say mamma. We say papa. The Swedes say papa. Mamma, papa. The distinction between short and long consonants is usually shown in the written system by the doubling of the consonant letter. However, you only hear this distinction when the consonant occurs between two vowels, like in the following examples. Long consonants. Vegan. Short consonant. Vegan. Fina. Finna. Dagen. Dagen. Mata. Matta. Lila. Lilla. The most important thing, however, is to make the long vowels long. Otherwise, there can easily be misunderstandings. Remember, a long vowel can never be too long. Yi. Yi is the Swedish symbol for a sound similar to y at the beginning of an English word, as in yes, yard. It never corresponds in its pronunciation to the English letter J. It is the consonant letter that sometimes gives away the origin of a Swede speaking English when he or she says yump for joy. Let's listen to some Swedish words with ye. Practice especially the words where ye comes after another consonant. Ja. Jul. Just. Jobb. Jon. Färja. Börja. Nej. Sälja. Mjölk. In some words borrowed from French, y is pronounced like English sh. -sh. Listen. Journalist. Jargong. Sjurhavande. The letter y is sometimes preceded by another consonant in the writing system. In such cases, the other letter is always silent. Examples. Jude. Djur. Hjälp. Ljus. The y sound is also sometimes spelled with a g. Examples. Ge. Järna. Färg. Berg. We'll discuss this in more detail later under G. L. Listen carefully to the pronunciation of the English word little. Little. Swedish L is more like the first L than the second L. The second L sounds very foreign to Swedes. Now we'll practice the L in some Swedish words. Väl, mjölk, lunch, telefon, tills, bil, kalender, klar, hall, klocka. Ng. Mm. This sound is similar to English, that is, ring, song, long, 
etc., but no g sound is heard at the end, as some English speakers have. This is true in Swedish, even if the ing is followed by a vowel. This is the way it sounds in Swedish. Long, longa, song, songen, ung, unga, ring, ringa. As you notice, there is only the n sound. Let's say those words again. No additional g sound should be heard. Long, longa, song, songen, ung, unga, ring, ringa. If you have difficulty with this, an easy way to eliminate the g sound is to say the two syllables separately. Then slowly bring them together. Song, n, song, n. Note the sound n is frequently followed by an n at the end of a word. This combination is spelled g n. Examples. Lungn, lungna, regn, regnet, ugn, ugnen, vagn, vagnen. Gn and kn. If gn stands at the beginning of a word, both sounds are pronounced, as in gnista, gnida. The same is true for kn in Swedish. The Swedes say kna, knida. Listen and repeat the Swedish words. Gn, gnista, gnida. Gnata, gnola, gnegga. Kn, knyta, knäppa, knappast, knut, knacka. R, the Swedish R is slightly trilled. If you can make a Spanish R, Use that, but trill it less. Rum, bror, morgon, bröd, har, krona. In some combinations of r and another consonant, the two sounds are pulled together. The result is very similar to what happens in English words like bar, barn, bore, board. Let's practice some of these combinations in Swedish words. R N, yen, barn, tun. R D Bood Gord Vord R T Förort Svart Sport Rush The rush sound is pronounced when the letter S follows an R, as in the words Ooh, shock, kosh, and losh. You make the rsh sound in normal speech also if one word ends in r and the next word starts with s. Listen to these three words. Varsatu. 
This is how you will hear it when a Swede speaks normally. Varshatu. If you pronounce the three words carefully without the sh sound, var sat du, you will, of course, be understood, but it won't sound like natural Swedish. Let's try some examples. Moosh, oshak, kosh, lash, vest, fesk. Norsk, försök, sh. The Swedish sh sound is very similar to the English sh sound in shoe, sheep, shout, etc. There is another variation of the sh sound in Swedish which you do not need to learn now, but which you should be prepared to recognize. The spelling of the Shish sound may vary, but don't let the spelling influence your pronunciation. Here is a list of words containing the sh sound, all with different spellings. On the tape, you'll hear both versions of the sh sound. Shuk, shida, shutta, shana, shis. Vision, station, champagne, journalist, generous. And now the other version. Sjuk, skida, skjorta, stjärna, schism, vision. Station, champagne, journalist, generous. G, K, S, K. We will now explain the reason for learning the vowels in two groups: the hard vowels a, u, u, o, and the soft vowels e, i, i, e. Ö. Say them once more in groups. If you don't remember them, learn them now. A, o, u, o. E, i, u, ä, ö. The two consonant letters g and k and the combination s k are pronounced differently depending on whether they precede a hard vowel or a soft vowel. Before the hard vowels, a, u, u, o, g, k, and s, k, are pronounced as they sound in the alphabet. Listen to these Swedish words. Gata, good, gul, go. Kan, kopp, kultur, hår, ska, sko, skulle, skål. Let's say them again just to practice the Swedish vowels as well. Make your long vowels very long. Gata, god, gul. Go. Can. Kopp. Kultur. Kår. Ska. Sko. Skulle. Skål. In front of the soft vowels, e, i, y. Ä, ö, g, k, and s, k become soft. G is pronounced like a Swedish y, as the y in English yes, etc. Listen to these examples. Ge, 
gilla. Gymnastik. Gärna. Göra. G is also pronounced like a Swedish J after L and R in the same syllable. Look at the following words. Listen and imitate. Älg. Helg. Svalg. Berg. Färg. Torg. Arg. K is pronounced like a light ch. A sound similar to the sound in English birch, inch, etc. Listen to the examples. Kedja. Kines. Kyss. Kärlek. Köra. The ch sound is also spelled t and k in some words, for example. t j Tjugo. Tjuv. Tjata. Tjock. Tjänstgöra. K-J. Kjol. S-K before a soft vowel is pronounced like a sh sound in English shoe, shine, etc. Listen to these examples. Shed. Skina. Skydda. Skära. Skön. Now let's put G, K, and S, K alternately in front of a hard and a soft vowel. Look at the words and repeat after the tape. Before hard vowel. G. Gata. Good. Gul. Go. Before soft vowel. Ge. Gilla. Gymnastik. Gärna. Göra. Before hard vowel. K. Kan. Kopp. Kultur. Kår. Before soft vowel. Kedja. Kines. Kyss. Kärlek. Köra. Before hard vowel. SK. Ska. Sko. Skulle. Skål. Before soft vowel. Sked. Skina. Skydda. Skära. Skön. The following consonant letters occur only infrequently in Swedish. C is mostly found in the combination C K. Alone, it is usually found in foreign words, in which case it is pronounced like K in front of hard vowels. Before soft vowels, it is pronounced like S. Examples. K. Cancer. Kampa. Cape. S. Cell. Citron. Cykel. Q is found mostly in proper names. 
examples. Holmqvist, Almqvist. KV has been replacing QU in modern Swedish. For example, Akvavit. Double V is pronounced like a V in Swedish. You will only find it in names. Examples, Vilma, Vinblad. Seta is pronounced like S. You will find it only in a very few words of foreign derivation. Examples, Sienare, Soon. Senit, zebra. Note, there is no z sound in Swedish. Summary of the pronunciation of Swedish consonants. One, consonant sounds tend to be long after short vowels. Two, y is pronounced like English y before vowels. Three, l is always like the first l in the English word little. Four, n, no g is heard before vowels. Five, gn, both the G and the N are pronounced at the beginning of a word. Six. Kn. Both the K and the N are pronounced in this combination at the beginning of a word. Seven. R is slightly trilled. Eight. R S is pronounced like rsh. Nine. Sh. This sound is very similar to the English sh sound. Ten. G, K, S, K before soft vowels are pronounced like y, ch, and sh. Eleven. Double V is pronounced like Z. Twelve. Seta is always pronounced S. There is no Z sound in Swedish. When individual words are pronounced in isolation, the separate sounds tend to stand out clearly. When one talks in phrases or sentences, however, many of these sounds become less distinct, and some of them may change or disappear. You will hear this on the tapes of the dialogues. Of course, this is the way you should learn to speak Swedish, not word by word. This is one reason it's important for you to memorize the dialogues. Some very common words are pronounced differently from the way they are spelled. Refer to this list as you learn units one through four to make sure you are pronouncing these words right. Examples. Written, jag. Spoken, ja. Det, de. Dag, da. Vad, va. Och, å, de, dom, dem, dom, är, e, med, me, morgon, morgon, någon, någon. Någonting, någonting, sedan, sen, 
Säga. Säga. Mig. Mig. Dig. Dig. Sig. Säg. Sådan. Sån. Staden. Stan. Americans listening to Swedes talking sometimes say the Swedes sing. They hear the Swedish intonation, which is different from English. They also hear the Swedish accent, which is equally different from English. Let's learn about that now. Swedish has two accents, usually referred to accent one and accent two. Accent one. Words with accent one have the stress on the first syllable. This is also most common in English two-syllable words. Examples. Coming. Harness. Mother. Fracture. Neighbor. Accent two is very characteristic of Swedish. It occurs mostly in words of two or more syllables. In accent two words, the second syllable is almost as loud as the first. In English, this occurs only in phrases where, for example, an ordinary adjective comes before an ordinary noun. Compare the following English items as you say them. First syllable accent. Blackboard. Second syllable accent. Black board. Blueberry. Blueberry. White house. White House. Loudspeaker. Loudspeaker. Notice that you pronounce the second syllable in the right column items louder and clearer than the same syllable in the left column items. Now imagine that the following Swedish words are pronounced as though they had two parts, the second almost as loud as the first. Hustru. Långsamt. Någon. Smörgås. These words are written as hustru, långsamt, någon, and smörgås, but pronounced, using accent too, with the second syllable almost as loud as the first. Try saying them one more time to make sure both syllables are coming out loud and clear. Then practice the following list of accent two words. Gata. Flicka. Båtar. Pojkar. Krona. Kyrka. Någon. Dotter. Papper. Komma. Fråga. Svenska. Smörgås. Kostar. Långsamt. Ingen. Hustru. Varje. We will now give you some accent two words and contrast them with accent one words. Listen carefully to the tape and imitate. Accent two. Komma. Accent one. Kommer. Ringar. Ringer. Svenska. Enkel. Smörgås. Gåsen. Kostar. Typisk. Långsamt. Längre. 
ingen finger pojken boken varje vargen klockan rocken When you listen to the tapes try from the beginning to pick up accent 1 and accent 2 as well as the typical Swedish intonation. As a result, the dialogues that you memorize will sound much more Swedish. End of Guide to Swedish Pronunciation